everybody, welcome back to our episode of Gross Mediocre Pokemon VGC 2019 Ultra Series. We'll be jumping on to Pokemon Showdown, playing some Pokemon VGC 2019 Ultra Series games. That's always a mouthful. Um, so full, full, full disclosure, I was supposed to record a Moon Series episode today, but I just kind of wanted to play some Ultra, honestly. I really did just want to play some Ultra. So that's what I'm going to play. I will absolutely be playing more Moon series. I'm going to stick with Moon until the bitter end. But for today, it's just going to be another Ultra series. I don't think I'll have time later to record Moon, and maybe not even tomorrow. So it might be a couple days, but I will absolutely be recording more Moon. Hopefully I'll have time tomorrow. I have a dentist appointment to fix Mr. Broken Tooth. But, um... Okay, so, Kyogre Lunala, I feel like Bronzong is hard. I feel like Bronzong's hard. There's a lot of hard things on this team for us to deal with. Lugia matchup's not particularly good. Lele's honestly very hard. Do you like that Raichu, though. Do you like that Raichu? Yeah. So maybe... Yeah, Bronzong's just so hard. Um, we go Raichu and Sin. Maybe. Um, yeah, so maybe Raichu and Sin with the two Restricteds in the back? Or do I even want Xerneas? I do. It has such good damage output. I really do want Xerneas. A case can be definitely be made for Landorus, but this is what we're going to go with. Okay, so he leads Lele and Bronzong. Of all things. This could be Scarf Bronzong. Could definitely be Scarf Bronzong. I'm gonna go ahead and nuzzle the Lele, and I could Darkest Larry at Lele, but I think I want to Darkest Larry at the Bronzong. Okay, Kyogre comes in. That's totally fine. I'll get a nuzzle off, which does some damage. Definitely does some damage. Okay, Darkest Larry did a really good amount. Okay, I need Trick Rooms, so that's fine. Because that's not at all. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and volt switch. I think could bring in Ray, but then my sash is gonna be broken. I guess I'll have to bring in Ray. Okay, so Lugia comes in. Oh, he gets fully paired. <sighs> nice. Yes, I'm very good at this game, in case you couldn't tell. Um, very talented at this game. So I get to... Fake out the Kyogre. And Sword Stance? Maybe fake out the Lugia and Sword Stance and then just... Oh, I can't extreme speed. Okay, pay attention. I cannot extreme speed. Were you all just gonna let me extreme speed in the Psychic Train? Because I can't do that. Um, I can fake out Lugia. There's no gravity. Could Darkest Larry at Lugia, too. We go down to not even Sash. Cool. Okay, so we get rid of that big problem. It's one problem. One problem. Okay, Lele comes back out. I feel like I can Darkest Lariat either of these mons, but I really, 
really need to keep... I guess Bronzong's pretty low. I guess Bronzong is pretty low. <sighs> okay, Trick Room, two more turns. Uh, Psychic Train, no more turns. Oh, wait, sorry, Psychic Train, two more turns. What am I even looking at? Okay, so... I'm sorry, guys, I'm a little bit all over the place. Um... I think I even might want to double switch, to be honest. No, I think I let Rayquaza go down. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, your life orb. So I can bring... Incineroar back in, I think. to fake out the Lugia, and I think Darkest Lariat, the, I think the Lele, actually. Okay, perfect. Okay, just in time for Trick Room to end. So here, I just hope that you're not psychic. Uh, psych I'm gonna geomancy, and darkest Larry at the Lugia, I think. Or I could just take out. I could alternatively protect Xerneas and darkest Larry at the Lele. No, because then you get Bronzong in. Yeah, then you get Bronzong in. So, I could protect the Xerneas and Darkest Larry at the Lugia, though. Or do I just go for the Geomancy? Okay, nice. So that's one attack, two attacks, perfect. I don't want to give you a free switch into Bronzong, I just want to get damage. Okay, they forfeited there? I don't think you forfeit there. You still have a Bronzong in the back. Because this next turn, I guess... I... Moonblast the Lay... No. Do I Geomancy? I think I would Geomancy Darkest Lariat the Lele. Xerneas will be very damaged, but then Bronzong's so slow that I should be able to Darkest Larry at the Bronzong. Yes. I think. I think. Okay, I'm actually going to leave that open. I'm going to leave that open so that if we come up against similar teams, I can kind of look at it. Um, oh my. Oh. My opponent running a Super Rain Core... Super, super rain, rain core here. A very interesting choice to run Como with the Feeny. It's honestly super scary. I have a bad rain slash Kyogre matchup, so that's definitely something I should consider working on. But I think I get to go. Ooh, could a Moongus do things this match? Can't put things to sleep, but I can Rage Powder. This might be the match for Amoongus. Um, I think I want to straight up go Raichu Xerneas with Incineroar and Amoongus. No, with Rayquaza and Amoongus in the back. Yeah, I definitely like Amoongus here. Uh, do I lead Amoongus? Can I just go Amoongus Zern? No, he is fake out. So I don't really want to do that, I don't think. But I can hopefully paralyze some stuff. Oh, yeah. This is amazing paralysis fodder right here. Um, okay, I'm 178, so I'm faster than you. But I think I can honestly switch in Amoongus and uh, Nuzzle the Toxicroak, I think. Um, I 
Alternatively, I could switch into Moongus here and protect, then next turn, Rage Powder Geomancy. I think I'll do that. Z move? No, just gunk shot. Okay. Okay, so this is good. Oh. Oh my god. This man has all the techs. Okay, so I do have to Rage Powder. And I think I can just Dazzling Gleam, though. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Blizzard. Okay, but he missed. Okay. Uh, so I think I just do the same thing. I think I just Rage Powder, Dazzling Gleam. Oh, who did I crit? Who did I crit? Sorry about that. Uh-oh. I'm confused. Um. Are you really gonna haze? That's my question. Are you really gonna haze? Away your own boosts. I still think Rage Power is the safer play, even if I hit myself. Okay, I didn't hit myself, so I assume you haze here. Oh, you heal pulsed. Okay. Um. In case you try to boost on me, I'm gonna go Clear Smog and Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, okay. So. Not much to say about that one. My opponent had no restricted, so I set up with Xerneas, and that was that. That was that one. Okay, jump into a third battle for today. Uh, so one thing I do, I'm a very impatient Xerneas player, so I'm trying to learn to be a little bit more patient and get into a better position before I just, like, geomancy and then get knocked out or get clear smogged or get roared or any of that kind of stuff or, like, get attacked a bunch. Okay, okay. Ultra Necrozma? Ultra Necrozma. Okay. So we got some real psychic stuff here. And a Cartana. And a Cartana. Ah, uh, Cartana's not fun. Um... I do like Raichu, I think, to be honest. Um, okay, this shows how little I know about uh, Ultra Dawn Wings, whatever. I don't even know it's typing. I, is it Psychic Dragon? I believe it's Psychic Dragon. Um, but I don't know if it's a physical or special attacker. Is this one a special attacker? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Oh no. Um, so maybe we don't go Landorus and we go. Definitely cannot safely bring a Moongus. Jeez. So maybe I might try Ferrothorn in the Amoongus slot. Okay, so I think the four I want Raichu, Incineroar, and then my two Restricteds. I don't know the order. Raichu seems like a good lead. It'll be the fastest fake out. Um. Then. Do I just lead off right with Xerneas? Xerneas doesn't seem bad. And then if. Maybe. Blank and blank. Speaking of being an impatient Xerneas player. Okay, so double intimidate on two. Well, I guess Raichu technically has a physical type move, but that's fine. So I assume we trade fake outs here. Alternatively, 
Okay, so there, I feel like there are so many different plays that we could do. So, I could fake out his ments, he could fake out my Zern, trade intimidates, uh, intimidates, trade fake outs. But I think I can also fake out his Incineroar. Um, do you think he runs Roar on ments? I just don't feel like there's room. So, I think I'd rather fake out his Incineroar. Could even Geomancy, honestly. That's what I'm gonna go for. Okay, he Dragon Dances up. But I Geomancy. Okay. Here. I could also... Okay, I'm scared about Roar on Incineroar, but I think the safer play is for me to switch in... to protect Xerneas and switch in my Incineroar. And I think if I get Roared out, it might just be a big fat L. Okay, but you double edge. So do you double edge and Roar? No, you don't. Nice. Okay. So that's really good. So I get Fake Out. Uh, I'm gonna Fake Out the Kyogre and Dazzling Gleam. He might still be faster. Okay, Incineroar comes back in. You Protect, that's fine. Okay, that is really good damage. Another Gleam should take you out. Um... Do I sack something here? And is that thing Incineroar? What's more important? Incineroar or Raichu? Raichu also gets Fake Out. But not Intimidate. I think Intimidate's really important. Actually, he lost his boost on Salamence. So I don't think Intimidate's as important. So I'm just going to attempt to U-turn if I can. And I'm going to protect. You have to fake that out. And you water spell, that's fine. Let's get Raichu in here. Um, I get to fake out the Kyogre. And I get to Dazzling Gleam again. Oh, yeah, because how much did Dazzling Gleam do before? 50.1 to 54%. Those are not the odds I like. Um, But maybe I can... Okay, you're 156. When am I going to learn this? I am 178. Okay, so I think I can fake out. And Moonblast. Uh, that was probably a little bit too safe, but I went for it anyway. Um, okay, so I have Ray in the back. Um, you get wide guard, right? I'm gonna nuzzle. I could faint. I could faint Moonblast the Kyogre. Faint also breaks wide guard, so I'm actually gonna faint and Dazzling Gleam, I think. Or do I want to just get a nuzzle off? Okay, so that does really good damage. We get to Nuzzle. Okay, you Photon Geyser does about half and Scald. Ooh, that does nothing. He does pick up a burn, but I think that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Volt Switch and Dazzling Gleam. That's fine. I could have fainted, but I think that's still fine. Okay, and you have Salamence, so I think... I actually don't want to Bolt Switch. Um, I do want to Nuzzle. The Salamence, and... I think Dazzling Gleam. 
Okay, so that just takes out the Salamence. Ooh, it brings him so low. Okay, so he's going to take that out, but... Okay, so they're going to forfeit there. That makes sense. So we've played we've played three games. We've won three games. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're actually going to play until until I lose, which at this rate is going to, it's going to be this next game. It's definitely going to be at th this next game. I mean, one of these games we played, our opponent had no restrictions. So I still am definitely on super low, very low ladder, but honestly, I'm still learning. Um, I would think, I would think we're going to use this team for maybe another, maybe next episode and then maybe switch it up. Maybe we'll switch it up next episode. I just haven't really I've been, like, ruminating on some things, but I haven't built anything. Okay, so this is very tough. Bronzong is really hard to deal with. Super solidly built team. Definitely reminds me of Wolf Glick's 2016 World's Winning Team, but I actually can't remember if it had Bronzong. I know it had a Raichu, so the Togi's over the Raichu, and the... Uh, 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 Incineroar must be over the... Hit him on top. So. I really hate lightning rod versus lightning rod battles. It's just so painful. Like, Raichu literally can't do anything. Hmm. That's wrong, I think. Delete those two. Do I leave all my restrictions on the bench? I think Amoongus can actually do okay, to be honest. Maybe I don't need Landorus. Maybe I bring Incineroar and Raichu. This could be an Amoongus game. Okay, so his Intimidate went off first. I wish I had Landorus. Oh my gosh. I really wish I had Landorus. Hmm. Okay, so... I'm going to go straight for the Darkest Lariat, and I'm going to switch out into a Moongus while I can. Okay, so you fake that out, that's fine. And Taunt, okay. So Taunt is definitely bad. I'm going to Darkest Lariat. I honestly think I lost this in Team Preview. I absolutely lost this in Team Preview. Yeah, honestly, there's no point in playing it out. There's nothing I can do. I mean, I get switching to Zern. I can, no, because I, I can't even fake out Gengar. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to Darkest Lariat. Could protect. I think that's my, the only thing I can do. That was a really smart play. Oh, because he can just U-turn into a Steel-type. Yeah, so that... Because I... Okay, so I wasn't sure... Oh, he's going to U-turn into Kyogre. Okay. Yeah, there is nothing to do. Oh, we live. It's nice. Um, yeah, so I definitely lost that in team preview. 
really well played Gengar. Really, really well played Gengar. Because um, I have the tools to beat Gengar, I just only brought one of them. So, okay, this team is definitely a problem. Okay, Gengar. Okay, I had to write down Gengar. Yeah, that's definitely a problem. Hmm. Well, should we do one more? Like, let's just, let's just do one more. Let's just do one more, I think. Okay. Xerneas Groudon. With a Lope Bunny. Uh, so two possible Megas in Lope Bunny and Salamence. Uh, both fast Pokemon. So, oh, I, I, I want to bring, can I bring five Pokemon? Because, like, Low Bunny is a physical attacker. Salamence is usually mixed. Um, Groudon is usually a physical type attacker. Townflame is usually a physical type attacker. Cinnaroar is usually a physical type attacker. So it's like, I want to bring both my Intimidates. I want to bring my Lightning Rod. Uh, well, because I want to, I guess I don't need it, right? Right? Like, I can nuzzle things, that's very helpful. But I feel like if I can intimidate things well enough and then they're not doing enough damage, maybe? We can do that instead. Mm. Do I leave Xerneas? Okay, let's see how this one goes. Okay, Lopunny, Mence. Okay, so one is not Mega. One is not Mega. Um, like, we can attempt. Like, might as well trade fakeouts, right? But alternatively, I can U-turn the Lopunny switch into my Landorus here, and then when they're both at minus one... Wait. U-turn, switch back into Xerneas, switch into Landorus, so yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I think. I think. Oh, okay, you faked out that slot. And you tailwinded. That's fine. Um... So I will U-turn. On the Lope Bunny, I don't even know. You get Cute Charm, Klutz, and Limber. I don't really even know what those do. I think I want to protect Landorus, but... I'm going to U-turn the Lope Bunny. And maybe just Rock Slide for a little bit of damage. In case you want to switch something else in. Could EQ. Could Tech Rage the Lope Bunny. Which I'll do. Oh, you just stayed with both. Interesting. I'll bring Xerneas out. So you are at least a mixed Salamence. You are at least a mixed Salamence. I can just Geo, right? And switch in Incineroar so I can fake out next turn? Or U-turn? I should take another Hyper Voice. Landorus lost 44.2% of its health. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Switch in Incineroar. Get Groudon to be minus one. So I can fake out Zern and Dazzling Gleam, I think. 
then I lose Incineroar, but you, you're out of Tailwind, so I can bring in Rayquaza with Sash intact. Yes, I think. Okay, so that does some damage. Um, if I bring in Landris, I feel like I'm banking on a speed tie, which I really don't want to. So I'm going to bring in Rayquaza. I'm going to Moonblast the Xerneas and I think Waterfall the Groudon. I could alternatively... Okay, I want a possible speed tie. You Dazzling Gleam. But... Get that off, so that's good. So this next turn... I Moonblast... Salamence and Extreme Speed. I don't think there's any way my, around this for my opponent. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay. GG, yep. Very good game. Okay. Okay, so that, that game definitely felt good. It was this game. It was this game that was rough as heck. This game that was super rough. Okay, so out of one, two, three, four... Did I count right? Five? Five? Okay. So, we won four of them. Um, this team is hard. I'm gonna try to switch up maybe the team a little bit to see if it can have a better matchup, but wowzy kazowzy, that was bad. Okay, I promise to never say wowzy kazowzy again. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I have definitely none of that. I do hope that everybody is having an above average day. Oh wait, if you stay till the end, I have a secret for you. I shampooed my eyebrows today. I was just in the shower. And I was like, shampoo my hair, and then I was like, well, I, I should sh shampoo my eyebrows. And then I did shampoo my eyebrows. And that's the secret for today. That's today's secret. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.